Are you fortunate enough to be retiring with a huge position in a company stock, maybe because you worked for that company for a very long time, or maybe because you just love the stock and you've accumulated it over the years? In this video, I'm going to show you how many retirees sell covered calls for income from large stock positions that they've accumulated over the years. I'm going to step you right through how this is done. Hi, I'm Camille Gaines here and on my website, retirecertain.com, I write about and talk about investing for about 40 years now, mostly because I like investing and I think it's super, super important. I have a focus on income in retirement after we stumbled into early retirement around age 50 and the various strategies that we've used during that time frame. If you like this kind of information, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you're notified when I post a new video. Some of my clients were coming to me with really huge stock positions. And what I noticed is they had fallen in love with these stock positions and were really, really hesitant to sell the stock positions. Now, this maybe made some sense, although I really like diversification for safety, particularly as we head into retirement and for later in life investing. But what was going on is these particular clients, and I saw it, I see it over and over, they had a very low cost in their stock portfolio for this, or I should say position in their stock position for these stocks. So they were able to sell covered calls to generate monthly income. And that was their preference over selling the positions. And sometimes this may even make sense to sell covered calls on the stock positions. And I can't say anything about stocks without a word of warning that it's super important to first understand that stocks come with risk. And I always like to equate the risk to where the market is, where the economic environment is at any given time, because I've invested through things like 2020 and 20. 15 and I've invested through years like 20 or 2008 rather I should say so it depends on what the market's doing overall usually and often more so than the individual company itself and I've got to throw that out so you always want to be aware of how much risk you have in stocks in particular and where the overall market and economy is based on long-term cycles. I'm not talking about short-term day-to-day kind of things. I'm talking about long-term cycles. Having thrown that risk sort of little warning out, let me show you how an investor might sell covered calls on Apple stock. Now, let's say for example, this investor has a thousand shares, let's keep it really simple, in Apple stock. And let's say that they've accumulated these shares over the years and their cost is, say, let's keep it really easy, uh, let's say $78 because as I record this, it's trading around $178, $179. So we're going to say their cost is $78. Now, let's, I hope you can see this clearly. I've tried to make it as clear as I can. You may be shocked to learn I'm not a videographer <laughs> or a really tech person, but here we go. And look at my other video on stock charts if you're not familiar with this. I always like to look at a stock chart for any investment that I have, any investment I'm thinking about giving or buying rather, it just gives me a really, really good long-term perspective on that particular investment. And just like really, really, really quickly, I'm just gonna show you, for example, this is a daily chart. 
Here's a weekly chart on Apple, but down here you'll see I've only got, this is 2016, 2017, 2018. So we've got the time frame on the bottom. On the right, we've got the price. And we can look at this on a very, very long-term perspective. This goes back to about 2002-ish, yep, late 2002, and or early 2002, rather. And let me mention, thank you to Charles Schwab. I'm using their platform here to show you this. I have absolutely no affiliation with them whatsoever other than being a customer. They're one of the brokers that I use. Okay, so having said that, you'll see how Apple has done over the years since uh, 2002. And we can see how an investor may have purchased this in you know for we said seventy five dollars or seventy eight dollars is what i said for our cost i mean really and truly after looking at this why don't we make the cost more like gosh i mean twenty eight dollars because you can see this is 2012 2013 and if someone had been there around 2012 a really long time then they could have easily had a cost on average of $28. And this is what happens with some of the clients that I see. So you can consider what your cost is if this is something that you're looking at, at, at doing. But the reason this is important is because you want to consider your cost when you sell covered calls because on and the option expiration date, you might have to sell the stock when you sell a covered call. So you want to consider if you're going to have a profit in that stock. Now, in this situation, and this is why this can be ideal for retirees that have these huge, huge stock positions to generate income in retirement, because their cost is so incredibly low. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back up to more current times now that I've shown you a really quick, quick picture of the long-term chart for Apple. And let's look at the stock is trading, like I said, around $180 this week, $178. This isn't an, something that is super intense. It's sort of an introductory and very basic, I would say, beginner option strategy as a way to generate income. We're looking at a weekly chart. I'm going to change this to daily right now, and I'm going to get rid of that. So hopefully you can see this a little better. I apologize. It's a little bit blurry, I know. Um, so here we go up here, and I like to sell cover calls on up days. So that's that little green bar. That's an update. But here we are today. It's a little bit of a down day. So I wanted to point out though that I do generally like to sell cover calls on up days, but I wanted to make this video for you today. So we're going to go with what we've got. And what you do is you look over here at the window for Apple. And when you open it and your broker will be slightly different of course again I'm using swap Schwab no affiliation I'm going to click right here for calls because here's the stock and here it is and here's where I would buy and sell it and here is for calls and you can see there are different things you can look at up here and so we're going to look at let me show you the important things you'll want to know in here Here's the expiration. This is super important. And this is closer to where we are right now. I'm at the very, very end of 2021. And this is the closest option that's for sale right now. And then it, the further you go out, like this is 752 days away. That's January 19th, 2024. And so what we're going to look at is something that's four to six weeks out. You can sell options for any time frame you want in here. You could go out six months and sell a call option to get that income. The further out you go, the more income you'll get. 
What I like to do is look at about four to six weeks out, like I said, and so I'm going to look at this right here, this February 4th option, and you'll notice that's 38 days out. Now, you may be wondering why does it say WKLY, and that's because it's a weekly option. Some stocks have weekly options, and others only have monthly options. So I'm going to click on that one so we can see how much we can get. If we sell a call option 38 days out, and you'll see this is referred to as the chain, it comes up, and we can see that here, let me show you the important things here. Here are the strike prices. And what we're saying if we sell this call option is that we will let the stock go. We'll sell the, the stock for, uh, for the strike price, and it's here of 195, if at option expiration, the stock is at that price or more, usually a little bit more, then the option buyer will want to exercise that option we've given them. They'll want to buy that stock from us. Well, because the stock is worth more. But here's the great thing about cover calls. If that stock is at an Apple, in this case, is worth less than the strike price or that 195 at option expiration, then the option buyer, remember we're selling a call option. So the person, it's not really probably the same person, but I like to think of it, if, if the person that buys this option from me sees on the option expiration date that the price is under $195, they won't exercise the option. It wouldn't make any sense. So that's how that works. All right, so let's look at the 195 strike to see how much money you could make from selling that call option. And I'm really sort of choosing 195 randomly. There's more to learn about this, like which strike price you would choose and how far out you would sell the call option. It depends on your own situation, how much you don't want to have to sell your stock and maybe your tax situation. It's very individual and personalized based on your situation. So I'm randomly choosing one here so I can show you. And it also depends on the movement of the stock. I look at the chart pretty carefully and make a determination if I think it's likely to get exercised if I don't want to sell the stock. And if I think it will get exercised, when I sell a cover call, then I'll be more it'll it will determine which option if i don't want it to get called i'll sell a higher strike of course okay so in this case we've got a thousand shares of apple and i've got my trusty calculator here and i always just even though it's simple i like to put it in my calculator okay so we've got a thousand shares of apple and an option contract represents 100 shares of stock. Okay, so I divide that by 100, 1,000 shares divided by 100, that's 10 contracts. That tells me I can sell 10 of these contracts. Okay, so here is the bid price, and here's the midpoint and the ask price. So bid and ask, and halfway in between is this midpoint here. All right, so I was telling you I would show you the important things here. So we've got the strike, and we've got the bid and the ask. It last traded here at $1.82, and the volume is sort of important as well. It's 58 here, but the number of open contracts or open interest in that is 828. Okay, so that means contracts. So in this case, I usually can get somewhere between the bid and the ask, depending on how much I wanna work it when I'm selling a cover call or buying a stock, or more often these days, buying an ETF. So in this case, 
let's say that I might be able to get a dollar eighty-five a contract. I think that's pretty conservative. So I've got my ten contracts I can sell. So I'm going to say times a dollar eighty, and that's eighteen dollars. And then this seems kind of silly because we divide it by a hundred, but it just keeps the math straight in my head. So I'll say times a hundred since that contract represents 100 shares. So that's $1,800. So this investor would get $1,800 for selling this call option. Not too bad. And what they've done though, is they've given the option buyer the right to buy on February 4th, 2022 at $195. And if Apple is over the $195 on that date, it will almost certainly get exercised. So that's how that works. And then all that happens here, and I'm in live mode, so I'm not <laughs> going to execute this. Um, you click here, here are the other important things on here the action is sell to open and then the number of contracts in this case it's 10 contracts unfortunately i don't have a thousand shares of apple and the order type and usually with options i put in a limit i don't put in a market order and then i can just review the order and i would click that i could review the order and it would sell, I'm going to click review order, and I can see right here the estimated total profits, $1,813.38. And I'm going to click do not place, since I don't have a thousand shares of Apple. That is how you can sell covered calls on large stock positions for extra income in retirement. Remember, it's super important to always be aware of your stock market risk, especially as you head into retirement. But if you have risk anyway, and you're holding the stock anyway, especially if you don't mind selling the stock, cover calls could make sense. Even if you sold the call option and the stock went to $195 at auction, option expiration, there are ways that you can manage that cover call so that it is not exercised and you don't have to sell the stock. Remember, above all, retire certain.